Hey everybody, welcome to my garage. I hope you're all uh, being safe and uh, practicing social distancing. Today I got to practice a little bit of social distancing myself uh, when I took this out for its first spin of 2020. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's about the through-haul transducer method that I used for my kayak. Uh, I actually didn't want to make this video until I knew it was gonna work, so I did it all last night and uh, took the kayak out and uh well you'll see uh i've tried the foamy pad that came with my striker 4 didn't work tried to make a little box out of a plastic container i bought from the dollar store didn't work because the container broke when i tried to cut it so all i had left was duct seal this stuff right here well you can't see because that's all wrapped around no oh, just this stuff duct seal jb gardener bender you can get this stuff at your uh, local hardware store. Usually it'll be in the electronics, or not electronics, electrical section. Um, this brick was a pound. It cost me $3.50 from Home Depot. Turns out that's all I needed to make my kayak, or the transducer work through my kayak. Um, I'll show you what I did. That's it. I just made a little well. I kind of formed it to the size and shape of my transducer, although not so much the shape, but just the size. And then I stuck the transducer in here, closed it a little bit to keep it level, and then I put a bit of water in there, and it worked, like, flawlessly. Better than I think it worked on the back of my kayak, because if you remember, the very first time I took my Striker 4 out on my kayak, um, well, you'll see. Duct tape. Yeah, so that's kind of like the ghetto way of doing it and I hated doing that it was such a pain in the ass and it wasn't really that secure so I was really really interested in trying to find a way to make it work through the hull like I said I don't know if you can see in there I'll try and that's my foam pad the one that came with uh, my striker 4 and that that didn't work at all um, a lot of people have had success with it but it didn't work for me so that's what I did I'll show you it's it's so easy to make you just grab some of your duct seal, just like that, just rip it off. This stuff is incredible, it like, uh, I've never used it before, but apparently it never loses its tackiness, and you just knead it a little bit, and I just uh, did it like that, and then formed it around my transducer. And then I just did that a couple more times and layered it up until I got it high enough, high as I needed it. And uh, as you can see in there, I just stuck it in there, pushed it down nice and tight so that it created a seal against the hull, the inside hull of my kayak. And uh, it worked really awesome. You can see how I did it right here. It's working. That's good news. Oh, that 
that's so nice. <laughs> it's so great having the transducer inside the hull right up there in the front of the boat. It's just like ice fishing. Look at those fish skyrocket up off the bottom to hit this thing. It must be little bluegills or perch or something. I'm just feeling little little ticks like they're just pecking at it. There we go. <sighs> yeah, a little perch. My first kayak fish of 2020. A wily, wily little perch. There you go. Look how angry he is. That's how well it worked. I mean, I was able to see so clearly the bottom. Uh, like I said, I feel like it worked even better than just being on the back of my kayak. And it took almost no water at all. As you saw, I just filled up a little water bottle, maybe a quarter full, and maybe dumped half of it in. So, you know, just to give it enough, enough water inside here so that there was, a, I don't know, so the transducer would work. That's it. Super easy, super simple. You just got to make sure before you put the duct seal down into your kayak that you give it a good wipe. Uh, make sure you clean it really good. Make sure there's no debris or anything. Um, most people will say to use like uh, acetone or rubbing alcohol or something like that. I didn't have anything like that, so I just used Fantastic. But if you're going to use like a household cleaner, make sure it's one that's going to be safe for plastic and it's not going to like uh, eat away at the plastic in your kayak. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.